how accurate are the predictions of solar eclipses? Eclipse times are calculated mathematically. Factors like the size of the Earth, the Sun and the Moon, as well as their movements in relation to one another, are taken into account. The result will tell you when an eclipse starts, reaches its maximum and ends at a location of your choice. There are some factors that make it impossible to be 100% accurate. Calculations do not take elevation into account. They are based on sea level for each location. If the sun appears in the eastern sky, the shadow's actual position will be a bit further east. The higher your altitude and the lower the sun's position around the horizon, the larger the difference. The moon and the earth are not perfectly spherical. They are both slightly squashed. Their exact shapes can only be determined up to a certain degree of precision. The figures any eclipse prediction are based on are mere approximations. There are mountains and valleys on the moon, though its shadow has a slightly rugged edge. Solar eclipse predictions usually do not take this factor into account. If you happen to stand in the shadow of a lunar mountain at the beginning or end of a total solar eclipse, totality may last a tiny bit longer for you. The mountains and valleys on Earth further distort the timing of the solar eclipse. The calculations are based on the size of the moon's shadow at sea level. The higher you are above sea level, the larger the shadow, and the longer totality lasts for you. The movements of the Earth and the moon are not constant. While we know that the Earth revolves around the sun in about 365.24219 days, and the moon completes a full orbit around Earth in relation to the sun in about 29.530575 days. It is impossible to predict their precise speeds on the daily basis as a number of forces can speed things up or slow them down. This means that a day on Earth is really exactly 24 hours long and that the moon's shadow may move slightly faster or slower during a solar eclipse than predicted. It is not exactly known how large the sun is. The margin of error is only about 0.03%, but that is enough to influence the times for a solar eclipse by a few seconds, as the size of the moon's shadow also depends on the size of the sun. The Earth's atmosphere blocks some of the sunlight, though our planet's shadow has a slightly fuzzy edge. During partial or total lunar eclipses, this makes it difficult to determine the precise movement when the shadow first touches the lunar surface, which marks the beginning of the eclipse. It is fair to say that predictions are so precise that if there is a deviation, it is very small and you will most likely not notice it.